Hi, I am Teacher Sai and I am here to give you a lesson about geometry. Okay, our certain topic for today is about the areas and volumes of solids. So are you ready? Let's start our lesson. Perfect Learn TV So our first topic for today is about the prisms. So what are the prisms? Prisms is a solid figure that has two paracongruent sides that are called bases, which are connected by the lateral faces or the parallelograms. So the parts of the prisms are shown in the figure. So as you can see, the two congruent faces are the bases. So the bases can be found it's either in the upper part and the lower part. The other faces are called the lateral faces. So these are the faces on the sides. Lateral faces intersects in the lateral edges. So this is the intersection of all the lateral faces. And all the faces which are parallel and congruent. So if the lateral edges are perpendicular to the planes of the bases, the prism is called right or the right prism. And if the lateral edges are not perpendicular, of course, to the base, the prism is called oblique. Sometimes you can, uh, you, you can determine whether it's right or oblique when the oblique one is in slanted, um, slanted position. Okay? And a regular prism is one whose bases are regular polygons. So, when the bases are polygons, so you know what are the poly regular polygons are. So, we have square, rectangle, heptagon, hexagon. Okay, so those are called regular prisms. A segment is an altitude of a prism. If and only if it is perpendicular to the planes of both bases of the prisms. So the length of the altitude of a prism is called the height of the prism. In the right prism, the height is the same as the length of any lateral edge. So the lateral and surface area of a prism. So when we talk about the lateral area, of a prism, it is the sum of the areas of the lateral faces. Or, can be in symbol, this is the perimeter of the base multiplied by the height of the prism, or the lateral area is equal to pH. And when we talk about the surface area, surface area is the total area of a prism. It is the sum of the lateral area plus the area of the two bases. Or, in symbol, we have the perimeter of the base multiplied by the height of the prism or the lateral area plus 2 multiplied by the area of the base or surface area or the total area is equal to pH plus 2B. Always remember when we talk about the base, the area of the base, take note what kind of polygon is the uh, or the, what type of polygon, uh, polygon the prism possess. If it is a square, okay, so we use the area of a square. If it is a rectangle, we use the area of a rectangle. So it depends on the polygon it possess. So next, we have the volume of a prism. So the volume is um, the amount of space occupied by the figure. So determining the volume of a figure means determining the number of cubic units that can be placed inside the figure. So if in area, we talk about the um, square units, in volume, we talk about the cubic units. So the volume is equal to the base area multiplied by the height of the prism or the volume is equal to B H. So these are the simple formula for the area and volume of a prism. So now, let's proceed with the example. So let us apply the 
formulas that we have talked about so that you can apply it on your own. So here is an example that demonstrates how to find the surface area and volume of a prism and really highlights both of these formulas above. Okay, so let's start with the surface of a prism. So we have the given. So the given in the figure, we have 6 feet, okay, 2 feet and 5 feet. So what are the names of these givens? So, when we talk about the 5 feet, this is the height, the 6 feet is the length, and the, the 2 feet is the width. So, so for the base, uh, what I have told you before, remember, uh, depends on what kind of polygon the prism possesses. So, this time, this is a rectangle, so therefore, our base is equal to length multiplied by width. Okay, so therefore, we have 6 multiplied by 2 feet, and this, that is 12 feet. So, substituting the values, so we have, for the total area, we have 16 multiplied by 5 plus 2 multiplied by the base of 12. So, computing for the values, the total is 104 feet square. Okay. So, that is the area of a prism given. So, for the volume, so the volume is the base multiplied by the height. So, base, our base is 6 multiplied by 2. So, we have 12 feet multiplied by the height is 5 feet is equal to 60 feet cube. That's all for the prism and now we're down to our next solid Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Perfect Coloring TV for more videos and updates.